CTV News at 6 with Hudson Mack. Good evening. This has been a tense day for police in southwestern B.C. and on the island. A search for a suspected double murderer on the Lower Mainland spilled over to the island early today. The dangerous fugitive, sporting a high-powered rifle and a list of grudges, had ties to the island and to Greater Victoria. But a tip from a person in Maple Ridge led police to the suspect over the noon hour. And tonight, the man, Angus David Mitchell, is dead after opening fire on police when they confronted him. CTV's Stephanie Sherlock has the story. A tense and widespread search for fugitive Angus David Mitchell ends in rural Maple Ridge in a shootout with police. The 26-year-old airlifted from the scene, dying shortly after in hospital. Mitchell being sought in connection with the attempted murder of his former landlord in this quiet Burnaby neighborhood. He's in serious condition in hospital. And I heard two bam bam, right? We didn't feel it out, we didn't allow. Frightened neighbors calling 911. This is scary, but uh, what can I do? Mitchell also linked as a person of interest to a double homicide at this Burnaby sushi restaurant on Sunday. Witnesses say they saw his vehicle at the restaurant the day the pair were gunned down. The drama on Vancouver Island begins early this morning when the North Saanich RCMP is called to Swartz Bay to watch for Mitchell's green Ford Aerostar, like the one pictured here, in traffic coming from the mainland. Uh, a shooting that occurred where the suspect... The integrated homicide unit issues a public warning, close. citing Mitchell as armed and dangerous. What is disturbing is that Mr. Mitchell is believed to be in possession of a Mossberg Maverick hunting rifle with a scope very similar to this one in this photo. He did live on the island. He does have history on the island, which is why we're taking these precautions and making sure that all the bases are covered off. Mitchell has lived and worked in Victoria, most recently for Themis Security. Kind of leaves red flags and I think, you know, so, so this is where we're kind of puzzled. I, you know, and I checked with all my employees, have you had any dealings with them? Has anything been said to him, the supervisors, the, the scheduler? A post on the owner of the company's Facebook clearly shows Mitchell is unstable and, as police had warned, unpredictable. He writes, you're an insignificant, lowly little punk who masquerades as a successful person. Then, you're just a little blank blank who pushes his weight around. Finishing with, I will contact whoever the blank I presume. Don't you ever try and talk to me as if you can give me an order. Police ask for the public's help and caution, personally notifying all people with a known connection to Mitchell. I can imagine it would be quite the shock for somebody to have a police officer knocking at the door giving this warning. So uh, we're, we're, you know, treating that very sensitively. Shortly after alerting the public, it pays off. A tip leads Maple Ridge RCMP to Mitchell's van, suspect inside. Reports indicate he fired at police but made no attempt to flee. Police shoot and take him down. Stephanie Sherlock joins us now with more on the story. Now, Stephanie, police found Mitchell fairly quickly today, uh, despite what was a pretty large search area and a, a large scope as well. They sure did, Hudson. It wasn't more than an hour after publicly alerting everyone that Mitchell was on the loose and that he was armed and dangerous that the RCMP got a tip. A woman in Maple Ridge recognized the van after seeing the warning and she called RCMP. The suspect, as you saw from my report, was in a fairly rural area. So without the woman's quick action, the search might still be underway right now. All right, Stephanie Sherlock reporting. Stephanie, thanks.